Roger, in 21 years of youth ministry, more and more as I went along, parents came to me expressing concerns that their kids were addicted to technology. They mm -hmm. wouldn't get their heads out of the cell phones. They, were, they, they couldn't stop themselves. Is that the way you understand it? What is the answer to the parent who's concerned about the quantum of consumption mm. by their kids? Mm. I understand that, and it's certainly easy to see that. The young person who never seems to put down their cell phone or whatever else technology piece is available to them seems to be a permanent appendage to them. I understand that, and it may appear that way. Uh, the research that I've been reading and the experiences I've been having in conversations with young people is not so much that they are addicted to the technology, to the cell phone, to the iPad, to whatever it is. What they're addicted to, and this has not changed, is they're yearning for a sense of connection. They're yearning for a sense of connection to other people, adults, young people, children, friends, people who see them for who they really are. That hasn't changed. What has changed is the method for that kind of connection. So it may appear on the front end of it, on the outset, that these young people are addicted to technology. What they're actually addicted to, and this hasn't changed, is this yearning for connection. I think when we look at it that way, it helps us realize what young people are saying to us is that this iPhone, whatever it is, this is just a tool it isn't in and of itself the thing that I am most yearning to connect to. It's a way for me to use it to connect through to people, people who are significant to me. And that's what they're yearning for. That hasn't changed. If anything, what's interesting right now is we think that even the greater desire now is for connection. Over and over again, I hear young people say two words. No matter how oppor opportunities emerge for them to use technology, they feel isolated and alone. Well, the fact that they feel so isolated and alone means that they are yearning for this connection. And they really tend to see technology more as a tool to assuage that isolation and that sense of loneliness.